Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. In this video, I'm going to be remaking the passenger side panel of this three-piece aluminum cowl, and then I'll be fitting the three pieces together and welding them up. Um, towards the end of the video, I'll give you more details as to why I ended up remaking that panel over there, and some of the challenges I've had over the past couple weeks. And I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a video about this project, um, that's just because I've had a few setbacks and some challenges along the way. But I think I'm pretty well back on track now, so enjoy the video. Okay, so to explain how I have this set up here, I made a Sharpie line, you can see that runs across the panel there, and that connects the start of the bend on both of these supports here. So, start of the bend on this one, which is about right there, and then the front one, which is about right there. And that gives me a reference point of where to start bending the panel. I have the rubber band on the upper wheel of the English wheel over there, so that will only bend the panel in one direction. It's not going to give me a compound curve. And you'll notice up here, I need a much tighter radius than in the back. So you'll see that as I'm working this panel, I'll be putting smaller rollers on the English wheel for this front section um, while keeping the back section a more gradual curve. So you can see I do have a little bit of a start there. So I'm just going to keep working with that process. Okay, so I got the new panel made up here now, and you can see that it follows that line just about as closely as I can make it. Now, this panel right here, which I made a while ago, is going to sit above the steering wheel, and they will be welded together. So the next step is to get that panel set in here and trim these two to fit together exactly.
Alright, well I got this cow all welded up now, and it turned out very nicely. This is my first time really working with sheet metal like this, and, and butt welding it together, because it's very hard to actually line it up perfectly like that, and then be able to weld it without it warping. Especially with aluminum, because aluminum soaks up that heat from the weld a lot faster than steel, um, and it'll warp on you very quickly if you're not careful with it. So one thing I did to manage that as much as I could, um, it might be hard to tell in the video because everything is edited and sped up. Um, but what I did was I tack welded it an inch apart along the whole seam. And then when I went to weld it, I would weld an inch at a time and let it cool completely in between each inch of weld. And that prevented the panel from soaking up too much heat and then warping. It still did get a little bit of warping, um, just kind of like an inch or two like around right where I was welding. Um, but once I threw it in the English wheel for a little bit, all that smoothed right out pretty well. Um, as far as this panel goes, I remade this passenger panel um, because over the past couple weeks I was trying to figure out how to actually mount this stuff to the frame underneath. 
And this is the original panel I have here. And you can kind of see, uh, I made these little 90 degree brackets there. These were designed to just bolt right to that subframe that I made in the last video of this. But the problem with this is that when I welded these on, you can see the, the weld on the other side of the panel. It kind of warps a little bit and it makes it look like it's dented. And I really didn't want that. So I tried a number of things. I tried welding it. I tried brazing it with an aluminum brazing kit. Um, nothing was working though because once you put that heat in there, it's always going to warp a little bit. And since I have those tabs welded on there, then I can't roll it in the English wheel because it's not flat anymore. So I was really having a hard time figuring out how I was going to actually mount this to the frame because if I couldn't weld anything to this, um, and I didn't want to rivet it either because I didn't want to see the rivet lines up in the body like that. Um, I didn't really know what to do. So I started looking around on the internet and I found some pictures of the old race cars that this is inspired by. And I saw some pictures of them with the body removed and they weren't actually fastened up in the panel like this at all. They were just kind of bolted down to the side and then on that subframe there was like a leather strap or some sort of padding um, that it was just kind of snugged up against. So I'm taking that approach with this, and hopefully it'll just hug that subframe tightly enough that it's not really going to move on itself. And I think that should work. I can put a little bit of um, support up here on this edge if I have to, because this is going to be kind of stepped down for the hood to sit in, and then I can, I can put something up there to hold on to if it's a little bit loose. But I think that's going to work. So the next step for this will be to mount this to the bottom of the frame here. Um, you can see how I'm going to do that with this because I did this with this panel already. Um, so this is riveted to just a piece of aluminum angle and then this is bolted to the frame. It's pretty simple. So it'll be just like that on both sides um, with padding on those steel rails and hopefully that'll be enough to, to make it work. Um, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.